Hello and welcome to the Christ and Culture uh, webcast. I'm your host Taylor DeSoto and in this episode we are going to be doing a library tour as uh, has been requested I think probably five times now on the podcast. Uh, obviously I moved into a new house so I've got a new library set up. So without any more introduction, uh, well I guess one more thing of introduction, you're in my room so if you see my bed and stuff don't feel weird uh, or feel weird, that's kind of your prerogative I guess. Uh, so we're going to flip me, flip you guys around and get you guys oriented to do a bookshelf tour. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's just do kind of a zoomed out view of the whole office, uh, which like I said is in my bedroom. So I uh, don't feel weird. There's a kind of a winter closet, which we don't use because it's Arizona and there's not really a need for it. But uh, So I've got my computer set up there and my shelves. So let's kind of jump right into it. So up here... On the leftmost shelf, we have uh, some assorted Bibles up here. Uh, so we have a bilingual Spanish-English, uh, HCSB, ESV. I, I got this for research. It's a, it's a passion translation, or if you, that's what you want to call it. An RL Allen ESV, and then a Mormon triple. So up here, this, this whole top shelf is for Mormon research. So we live in Arizona, so uh, it's really important that you understand what Mormons believe so that you can engage with them meaningfully. So I've got a, a Mormon comparative which has every change ever made into the Book of Mormon, a little kind of, uh, this is a really valuable tool for Mormon apologetics. Um, some various older print books which are pre-revision which are helpful to have, and then uh, the history of the church up there. So we keep on going down, and on this first shelf right here, we have uh, kind of an assortment of Charles Spurgeon, Puritan paperbacks, and some other stuff, so let's get into that. Uh, I've got The Treasury of David, three volumes. I've the f One of the first volumes, uh, Genesis to Second Kings, uh, The Treasury of the Bible by C.H. Spurgeon. And then I have uh, Lectures to My Students, Majesty of Misery, Majesty in Misery, Spurgeon's Practical Wisdom, his sermons in five volumes, uh, an all-around ministry, and then uh, The Greatest Fight in the World. And then we move on to kind of random books, which uh, I have a, uh, an, a biography of Stonewall Jackson by Dabney, um, uh, Confessions of Augustine, Puritan paperbacks, uh, something, you know, B.B. Warfield's right there. And then back here is kind of an assortment of like little pamphlets that you get at the front of churches and conferences. And then this little... Uh, jar of rocks. Uh, my daughter gives me rocks from the outside. She has and she could walk and I kind of save them there. So that's from her. And then uh, further we go down and we start our systematic theology row. So uh, obviously there's some books missing. I've got some pulled down over there for some project that I'm working on. But it's organized by tradition. So we start on the left with Dutch Reformed. So we have Abrockle, The Christian's Reasonable Service, Reformed Dogmatics by G.H. Kirsten. We have Bob Inc. in one volume. Beakey's first volume of, of Reformed Systematic Theology. Then Warfield. And uh, I think... I don't know what was here, but we can find it later. Um, Burkhoff. Burkhoff. Uh, Lorraine Botner. Uh, the Reformed Doctrine of Predestination. So that's kind of a... That's a low side of systematic theology, not necessarily a whole systematic theology. Uh, John Dagg usually goes here. And then I have Boyce, Nichols, and Gill. So we have Dutch Reformed up to here, Presbyterian up to here, and then Baptist over there. Then we have the Puritans. So the next couple of rows get, the next two rows get Puritans. So we have the American Puritan, Jonathan Edwards. Uh, we have the works of John Bunyan, a Baptist Puritan. Um, this is a, a PhD, my father-in-law's PhD on Bunyan. Uh, this is uh, Charnock, The Attributes of God. Uh, this is kind of out of place. It's uh, our program by Abraham Kuyper. Uh, one volume of John Owen, which I've got the rest in my, in my Logos. Uh, the works of Thomas Brooks, sans the first volume because I'm reading it. Uh, John Flavel. And then we have, we go down to this next row, and the next row is uh, uh, Thomas Goodwin, and then John Witherspoon, and then Joseph Carroll. And we go down to this next shelf, it's kind of a mixed, mixed bag. I've got, um, uh, here's, uh, le this is uh, Sprague, three of his volumes. It's kind of practical letters to men, women, families. Uh, translators revived, 
that doesn't belong there, but it's about the KJV translators. Then Grudem, uh, Marrow of Modern Divinity by Fisher, uh, Institutes of Biblical Law, all three volumes by Rush Dooney, and then we have, like, like I said, this shelf is not all that organized, but we have the majority text, a TR with critical, uh, um, uh, critical variants, my TR, uh, two NKJVs, and an assortment of King James versions. Then on this bottom row right here, we have uh, commentaries. So over here we have the Psalms. So it goes from Old Testament to New, and so kind of the Old Testament uh, stops right there. And then that's my Greek commentary and more commentaries. Matthew Henry kind of in the corner there. And then we move on to this middle shelf. So this middle shelf is kind of uh, the top row is more so for looks for my podcast, if I'm being honest. But we have over here, this is all 20th century philosophy right here. Then we move on to kind of Marxism slash critical race theory studies. So uh, my Disillusionment in Russia by Emma Goldman, stamped from the beginning, Ibram X. Kendi, Social Justice Goes to Church, Cynical Theories, uh, so John Harris, James Lindsay, uh, The Parasitic Mind by Gad Saad, um, The New Right by Michael Malice. This doesn't really belong there, but that's Uncle Tom's Cabin. Um, the Gulag Archipelago, and then little known fact about me, I guess if you're Dane you understand, but I like collecting these little books from used bookstores. They're like 20th century, like apocalyptic, premillennial literature, which I don't, I just collect for fun. Uh, my humidor for cigars when I choose to partake. And then right here, just kind of a random assortment, here's like a TR, this is a, this is a um, Beza TR. A little hymnal, um, just kind of random books here. And then this main, this like little cubbies right here, this is all topical. So either topical or by author. So this is like Calvin slash Calvinism. And so if I'm being honest, this has a little bit of Calvinism in it too. But we have the Institutes, um, two biographies. So we have biography of David Brainerd and William Kiffin. And then uh, History of Calvinism, Letters of John Calvin, Sermons on um, First Timothy by Calvin. And then we go on over here. This is uh, Atlantic Theology, so Turretin, Von Maastricht, uh, The Cause of God and Truth by John Gill, um, Calvinism and Evangelical Arminianism by Girardeau. Then we go on here, and we have Bob Inc., four volumes, and then his ethics. And then for whatever reason, I've put Karl Barth next to Bob Inc. You know, maybe that's just kind of like same kind of time period but then we go down to the next shelf and this is all covenant theology so we have uh, Baptist covenant theology and then mostly Presbyterian covenant theology because uh, mostly most literature on covenant theology is by Presbyterians or Dutch Reformed so this next cubby we have uh, post-reformation reform dogmatics by Moeller and then an empty space where there's Theology proper and um, classical theism, so uh, divine impassibility, the um, divine simplicity, things like that. But I have, you know, some of them are up here. So, and then we have devotional writing, um, reformed spirituality, uh, books on fatherhood, prayer, practical piety, that kind of stuff. Let me go down to this next cubby. It's just kind of random assortments of literature. So, um, Logic and writing, uh, American literature, dog training. There are 26 volumes of journals and discourses back there for Mormon research. Uh, Civil War, Southern Civil War history. And over here is like textbooks from uh, when I was learning my trade. So, you know, SQL development, network engineering, um, Excel, C Sharp, um, VBA. So, now finally this right shelf, or Bibles, so an ESV, uh, NA28 side-by-side, -side, UBS5, a uh, goat-bound NA28, Bibles, and then kind of nerd lore. So this is my confessions and creeds shelf. There's some missing right now for my project, but you know, Schaff on the uh, creeds of Christendom, um, Westminster Confession of Faith, London Baptist, uh, OPC, Pres uh, Church, Book of Church Order, um, stuff like that. And then on the next shelf, we have sermons, pastoral ministry, 
homiletics. So, on being a pastor, uh, sermons on the Heidelberg, sermons on Hebrews 11, um, on the preparation and delivery of sermons by Broadus, Reformed preaching by Beaky, the Preacher's Catechism by Allen. And then we go down and there's a lot of text criticism. So I think like these these two shelves right here are mostly just text criticism slash similar topics. So uh, right here we have like kind of all like TR literature, so you have Bergen and then we go on to there's Bart Ehrman slash Elaine Pagels and kind of the critical schools of thinking. And then we have James White, Peter Gurry, uh, Tommy Wasserman. And then we go down to the next shelf. We have some apologetics. So I've got, you know, Sproul, Gerstner, uh, Fesco. Um, this is Mormon apologetics. John Frame, Van Til, uh, Ravi Zacharias. I guess I'm not allowed to have that book anymore. Um, here's uh, Kruger on canon and the history of canon. Um, here's some kind of books that I didn't really know, really know what to do with. John Piper, uh, James White. And then on the next shelf, I have all language learning stuff, so Latin and Greek. So I have uh, lexicons, flashcards, uh, Greek grammars and study tools, uh, Latin. And then finally, on this bottom shelf here, we have church history. So we have Usher, church history, uh, Needham, baptism, a biography of John MacArthur, and then kind of Old and New Testament surveys and Greek grammars. All right, so now with that out of the way, let's kind of look at, guess what I'm doing with these books. So we have A Systematic Theology, John Dagg, A Body of Divinity, Thomas Watson, uh, John Brown of Haddington, Systematic Theology. So those two were probably what I was missing in my Presbyterian section. The Economy of Covenants, Christian Ministry, Garnet Howard Milne, King James Version Defended, Christian and Complete Armor, The Promise of the Future by Venema, all That Is in God by Dalazal. Christianity and Liberalism by, uh, uh, why is that? By Machen. And Covenant Theology by Blackburn. So I think I was developing a list of, like, books that everyone should read. That's probably what that was for. Now we'll zoom out and I'll show you kind of my ridiculous setup. So, five monitors. Um, some might say it's a little excessive, and you're probably right. So that's the library tour. I guess I have a little bit, from little, some, some more books that I can show you guys out in my living room. So we just moved in, so we're kind of getting furniture so sorted. This isn't even our furniture. The last owner uh, let us have it. So we're going to be getting new furniture. But So this is what's remaining of the books. And these are all just kind of for show mostly, but I've got, uh, you know, Aristotle, Aquinas, Emerson, American Historical Documents, John Donne, uh, The Pilgrim's Progress, a book on Vishlas, which is the kind of dog I have, uh, The Collected Works of John Stuart Mill, The Federalist Papers, John Locke, The Constitution and Declaration of Independence, uh, The Essays of Mark Twain, a book on Lincoln, a book by Marcuse, John Dewey, and then some uh, 20th century literature, so To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984, Mar Animal Farm, The Jungle, Fahrenheit, 451. And then down here, we just kind of have some random fiction and fantasy and board games. And then on this side, we have our family worship shelf. So, you know, the Reformation Heritage Study Bible, uh, Confessions, uh, Psalters, and Hymnals. So that has been it for the uh, library tour. We'll bring you back and we'll sign off in uh, the office slash my bedroom. There's our family crest right there. That's pretty cool. And let me set you guys back up on the shelf, and we'll sign out. Set you guys right there. All right, well, thanks uh, for watching, tuning into the Christ and Culture uh, Library Tour. I'm your host, Taylor DeSoto. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.